Hi, this is Brandon from MicroQuest, and today I'm going to take you through the latest feature to our virtual care tools, and that is for our virtual appointments. Uh, to get started, you do need to have the patient portal, so if you don't have that already, you can give us a call and uh, we'll get that all set up for you. Uh, once that is ready to go, you simply move over to the appointment scheduler and look up your patient like you normally would. Book the patient in, drag uh, Aaron down here, and put in all the information as per normal and simply check off the virtual appointment checkbox here. What this will do is when we hit OK, it will generate the email invite to the patient that'll have all of their appointment details, uh, assuming they already have an account on the patient portal. Uh, if they do not have an account on the portal, they'll actually get the invite to the portal, uh, which is everything's kind of controlled through that, so they'll have the list of appointments there. So this patient does have the, their portal invite already, so they're just going to get their invite to the appointment, so we'll send that off. Just takes a sec, the email has been sent, there we go, and that patient is booked. If we pop over to the patient's email, you can see here, this is their virtual appointment invite. And it has all the information that they have their appointment with Dr. Bonner, um, May 28th at 11.45 a.m. And they simply click the patient portal login, which will bring up the portal itself. And then once they've got the portal here, they log in. Hendricks. Log in with their username and password, and away you go. And you can see they have a list of all their upcoming virtual appointments right here. Uh, here's the appointment today at 1145, and you see the big green button that says enter waiting room. So from the patient standpoint, they click that, uh, and away they go. This button will only be available and only be green for them to use within a half an hour before their appointment. So uh, if they log in well before the hand, they will not be able to come in and, and wait for the appointment. So from the patient standpoint, you click that button, enter waiting room. It does give them a consent that they have to accept. It just kind of goes over a standard terms of service and risks of video conferencing and so on and so forth. When they click I accept, they will be placed into it, and there I am, hello, uh, you can see everything there. I am just going to mute that so that we don't get uh, any weird echoing going on, and you can see the patient does say it will be, the doctor will be with you shortly, please do not navigate away from this page. Great. So from the doctor's standpoint, back in HealthQuest here, uh, we have their standard doc, uh, appointment view. Uh, virtual appointments will show up with a blue background here, and ones that are in session have this little icon and the green icon there, and you can click to connect to the appointment. Uh, I'm not going to click it there because I need to do it through a separate browser, but basically that will launch your default browser, bring you into the uh, HealthQuest online tool, and you can do the appointment. So from our side, we would come over here to, on my right hand side is the doctor here, We've got uh, Dr. Logo in, there we go. Here's our list of appointments. So I've got doctor on the right and I have the patient on the left. Here's Aaron Hendricks, the doctor can click connect. The connect button will appear once the patient is there and waiting. So when we hit connect, it's going to come in and it'll sync up and you can see, there we go. I'm gonna mute that audio before I get echoed as well. And both uh, both people can talk. Obviously, this is just me on one computer with two camera, uh, one camera pointing at it, so it's not exactly the best thing, but you get the idea that everything's kind of right there. Patient will be on one, the doctor on the other, and you do your appointment as you normally would. So it doesn't take them away from HealthQuest or anything. If you needed to come back in, you can come in here, you can go into charting and view the patient's chart. Um, enter in your chart notes, all that kind of stuff. If you have one on one screen, one on the other. Um, the patient will turn green up here to show you that you're in a virtual appointment with that. If you happen to look at another patient, it'll go red just to warn you that you are actually in a virtual appointment with another uh, patient at that time. So let's go back to Aaron here. Uh, and then yeah, of course, just do everything that you would normally do. Um, when you're done, you can do your messaging if you need to send anything back to the patient, uh, any attachments, uh, prescriptions, forms, for example, all that kind of stuff can all be there. Uh, and basically, when you're truly done, simply click the end call button here, um, and your you just confirms, we'll end that appointment, and it's done. So the doctor is back to his schedule, the patient just gets a notification that the appointment has been finished, and they can close that off, and they'll be back into the uh, their scheduler. And then in HealthQuest, if I pop back over there, let's get rid of these guys, back into HealthQuest, then the appointment automatically flips over to the, the done state. It has a full time telling you how long you're in session with that patient, and you can do your charting, your billing, anything that you need to do as per, uh, as per usual. 
So pretty quick and straightforward there. Um, hopefully that uh, makes a lot of sense to everybody. But if you have any questions, by all means, give us a call. And of course, if you'd like to sign up for it and uh, get access to this feature, uh, you can do so. Please just give us a call. You can get us at one 866 438-3762 and speak with either our technical support department or client services and they will be happy to get you hooked up. So thanks again, uh, I'm Brandon with MicroQuest and uh, hopefully this was helpful.